what what I found quite interesting as well was talking about the smell of wood burning smoke because I don't think it's something I've really noticed, but I think it will be something now I okay. notice. If I'm going into the yeah. countryside, I'm now going to be looking out for it or like look, smelling out, for smelling, it. smelling, <laughs> smelling out for it. Yeah, to, but the fact that she was commenting on her, I think it was her son saying he could smell it even in their school now, which yeah. is crazy. But I just imagine that people, if you're not thinking about it, if it's not part of your daily routine or need to think about it then it can just be so easy to to overlook i mean yeah that is again working in air pollution it kind of switches you on to all of these things so like the smell of you know oxford street we all know it stinks there but to be able to identify those smells in other places and be like oh that's a diesel car right there that's a you know and um that's good to know these things but it's also quite bad because you're living with that always now of i can smell that so i yeah. had the window open downstairs and it's been quite cold recently and i could just smell the wood smoke coming in from somewhere i don't know which neighbor's burning wood but you know at least but one I'll of them find them <laughs> <laughs> um yes yeah, so it is just it is everywhere and um it's as you say it's kind of like switching people onto these issues because they just don't know and i know um, you know, some very educated people who who have wood burners, and uh, it's not an education issue at all. As you say, it's like it's deeper than that. And um, yeah, they just they don't know about kind of wood burning smoke as a as an environmental or a, as a health risk at all. Um, and I mean, part of that is because there's such a strong kind of industry and aesthetic around it. Like, kind of Instagram is full of it. Like, magazines are full of it. Um, all gardening shows and home design programs there's always a wood burner just that you know <laughs> yeah. i i believe the industry is really kind of embedded itself in everything and so there's, go there's going to be and there is a really strong kind of pushback from this are this things actually harmful for you yeah um, and that is again something people just don't want to hear um yeah. you know this thing that you do and you enjoy it's not good for you um it's bad for other people and uh, we spoke in the event about kind of loss aversion. So you can't just tell people this thing is bad, stop using it because there's nothing to gain from that. But it's if that can be replaced by something. So in the comparison to cars, you don't drive a diesel car anymore, drive an electric car. So it's being replaced while the electric car isn't perfect. And there's a lot of issues with that. At least um, at some level, people have got a replacement. But for wood burning, it is a stop doing that. Yeah. There are kind of, I don't know if you've seen them, like these electric ones that are kind of, they look like a wood burner, but they're not burning wood. They're just like a glowy light. You must have seen those. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's a great alternative. Getting a YouTube video of a wood fire and just putting it on your TV screen. It has the same feeling. Yeah, no, it definitely doesn't. Yeah, I think that's, that, that, I, I found that interesting in the messaging that they were testing of like shifting away from blame and... Mm -hmm because I think there's such a lack of awareness in the public to then start pointing the finger at people who have these wood burning stoves, which I think it's something it's, it's hard to not do it completely because it is quite a strong demographic. And if they are doing it for reasons which don't feel like necessity, it then feels a bit, it, it feels like there could be an element of blame, but if there's that mm. lack of awareness, it's more of an education piece, like you were saying. And it's, it's kind of, yeah, providing solutions because people are still going to have to heat their homes in some way, but finding kind of better solutions and perhaps finding solutions that just if, if people want to use them for aesthetic reasons, then perhaps there needs to be some kind of investment in aesthetic, but actually sustainable and like actually eco-friendly alternatives. Oh, yeah. So you're talking about the necessity, the necessity to burn and with the kind of energy crisis and cost of living and all this stuff there is potentially going to be an uptick of people actually burning because it's so much cheaper to burn and you can buy wood anywhere and everywhere and mm. in fact you don't even need to buy it you could just collect it in a forest um and i mean if if you know gas and electricity is so expensive you can kind of see where people will want to and may need to start using this stuff to to stay warm I mean, fortunately the season's tipping now so we won't need to use this stuff as much but yeah. it is going to come back <laughs> um hopefully we can we can sort something out there uh, before before that happens